Hey everybody, welcome to Katie's Kitchen. I'm super excited to share this vegan chickpea flour scramble with you guys today. It's like making scrambled eggs. Uh, you could prepare it for your breakfast and serve it with toast, as you see that I did here. Or you can serve it in a wrap or a pita and make a lunch out of it. So just stay tuned and we'll get started. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna use basan flour, the black salt powder, which I get at my local Indian market. It has like a sulfur, almost like the taste of eggs. So it really adds to that scrambled um, scents. And I use some uh, cayenne pepper sauce, a little bit in the batter, as well as put some on after it's cooked. And I'm also gonna use zucchini, onion, and garlic inside the scramble. So we're gonna get started with a little olive oil and the garlic and onion, and we're gonna saute that a little bit until um, it's a translucent. And then you can add a little salt and pepper to taste and get this sauteing for a little bit. Once they start to get a little translucent, you can take the cubed zucchini and add it now. And it's gonna be a few minutes of sauteing this on a medium, medium high temperature. It really depends on your stove. Uh, too high, of course, would you know make it burn. So give it a little time, be patient. Okay, so now we're gonna add a chickpea flour batter, which is one to one ratio of water and chickpea flour. And you're just gonna season that as you like it. The black salt really does add a nice eggy flavor. And I might put a little regular salt, pepper, I chose cumin and coriander as well. And I'm gonna let it sit for a couple minutes and then uh, kind of scramble it up and then let it sit another couple minutes and just keep slowly uh, scrambling it until you get the desired texture. It's so good. And you'll see it come together and really kind of look like eggs. Oh yeah, and if you wanna add some turmeric to the chickpea flour batter, it will give it more of that yellow color as well. And I'd like to serve this with toast as my breakfast. I added a little ketchup and a little hot sauce. And oh, it's so, so good. Well, thanks for joining me guys please like subscribe and share don't miss any new recipes i have coming out i really appreciate you watching have a great week